One, two, three. <laughs> That's why I love you. Doing my tomfoolery. How did this come about, Clayton? And I was just scrolling through my LinkedIn, looking for people to contact for my business. I was like, oh, this girl's from Tennessee and she's kind of cute. My she's fine. Tennessee. So he swooped into my DMs <laughs> and I literally never ever answer any DMs. And so I had just had surgery on my knee may or may not have been on some medication. <laughs> His message popped up and I immediately knew that this was like, he's trying to get me to like join a business or something, you know? And I kind of shut it down from the beginning. And then he kept communicating with me. Well, that, that's just one thing, check the list. Next, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing though? <laughs> Well, I don't know, because I was on medication, so <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Yeah, he dropped them digits, and then I was sitting there, like, I was talking to my cousin, and I was like... Well, I was in your court. Yeah, I was like, Mari, what do I do? And I then she hit me up that night. We text all night. And then, I think the next day, we got on the phone. And we talked that whole day. It was, like, most of that day. Every day we was on the phone for at least two or three hours. Or FaceTiming. Or FaceTiming. And I told her... I got five days off coming up and I'm gonna come see you. And she didn't believe me. I didn't believe him at all. Yeah, okay, sure. Like, I'll believe it when I see it. And a big thing that we talked about over those three weeks was like intentionality. Like if Purpose. you're, yeah, we wanna be serious about following through with what you say. Mm -hmm. And then the day before, and he got off work and he's like, okay, I'm gonna take a nap and I'm on my way. And I was living with my cousin at the time and I was like, oh my God, he's really coming. Like, <laughs> I gotta do my hair. Like, what do I wear? It was a 10 hour drive. He like left at like one in the morning or and something. Like one in the morning. I went to see her. Then it was a plus that my brother was there as well. So I was like, all right, I can just treat this as a little mini vacay and I get to see, but now my, my fiance. Yeah. So I made it halfway to her house and I was like, dang, I need some flowers. So then I was like, all right, look, it's a lot of traffic out here. And I'm like, there's no traffic going this way. Like, like okay, that's weird. But you know, <laughs> then like 20 minutes went by and I'm like, he is about to stand me up. <laughs> like I, I was like, I'm about to get back in my pajamas. Like <laughs> he's about to stand me up. And then he pulls up and I see that he had flowers. And I think that's the first thing that we said. We like laughed. Mm -hmm. It like eased the tension. Cause I was like, you went and got those flowers. <laughs> there wasn't no traffic. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> we always, we have this joke that we always say like, you're stuck. So like if he's doing something that's annoying, he'll be like, it doesn't matter. Like you're stuck with me anyway. Like you just gotta deal with it. 